My name is Nikki Fisher and I am Mama here on Fisher Priceless. As most of you have seen lately, we have been doing a lot of stuff in our woods. And it may be a little bit confusing because I talk about homesteading on 0.5 acres and then all of a sudden the woods show up in the last like four months. It was hard for me to do videos without actually including some of this in here, but I did want to explain to you what has happened. Our neighbors actually purchased the four acres beside it. They didn't necessarily want to use it for anything. They just wanted to have it. Um, it's adjacent to their backyard as well. They're, like I said, there's four acres, so it's, it's a pretty good piece of land. It is all wooded, raw trees. There's actually marsh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful in here. It's something that I've looked at for the last 14 years of my life. Here we are, 2023. This property goes on the market in January, and within three days, our neighbors purchased it. Within that week of them closing, they called us and said, Hey, do y'all like to use the land? for your animals. What? Absolutely, I would love to use this land for my animals. But there is something special going on right now that is not going to be used just for my animals. And that is something I wanted to share with y'all. So our family in January, along with some super close friends of ours, felt like God was calling us into a ministry. A ministry to help hurting children that are in crisis be able to come out in nature, to be able to see homesteading animals, to be able to see marsh life to be able to see trees and goats and birds and just see creation and the fact that there is a creator that gave us all this. show those children a way to cope, to find God's goodness in nature, to find God's goodness, and to see just a glimpse of His glory by getting outside. Just by observing animals. I remember when I was going through cancer with my parents, and I also went through it with several family members, and then I went through it with my mother-in-law, I knew God, I knew God, I've been a Christian all my life, but I started looking to the internet, I started researching cancer and how to prevent cancer and what to do to you know, keep all the toxins out of your house and to, to eat the right foods, and it became all-consuming, and there was this fear that that I know the enemy when he was trying to discourage me. I knew where to go and I prayed to God, but the way I found God when I walked out my door, when I looked out my window in the mornings and I would be reading my Bible and I would see the birds and I would get out and I would milk my goats and I would watch my goats give birth and I would put a seed in the ground and mend the soil and watch food grow. I started finding an outlet, an outlet to get away from that fear that was so heavy. It, it just was paralyzing. It did not stop in nature. God gives us nature, but we have to go to His Word. We have to go to Him in prayer. And through those things, He helped me through our cancer journey as a family. And our vision is to help children in crisis to find God's goodness and to see a glimpse of His glory. And we will be able to start this ministry 
sooner because it's it's available to us now so we have already started trails so that's what some of the videos were for we have started setting up little areas where children and mentors can go to talk to see God's beauty to we have a little spot near the marsh where they can just look over the water in the marsh and our plan is to have little areas throughout the woods so that mentors can go along with the children and they can they can have an outlet they can do an activity they can talk they can pray and we're hoping we'll help them know who to go to when life throws hurt at you when life becomes difficult and just use some of these tactics to be able to heal from whatever crisis they're going through so that is why we are here in the woods this is why we're having so much fun out here right now and I just want y'all to be praying for it we are going to start a new YouTube channel that is totally separate for the nonprofit to, to share what's been going on in our lives and how things are progressing um, we're also getting a web page up right now so that if you would like to donate, you can donate, you can go through that web page, you can just keep up with us. So we are super excited and cannot wait to tell y'all what is, is next. As it says in the Bible, this is your doing and it is marvelous in our eyes.